I just got back from Harbor Freight. I went in there to grab some extensions and ended up leaving with something that I didn't really need, but also I did need. And that's the Bauer tool backpack. I've been keeping my tools in this and this bag has worked fine, but it's a, uh, you know, awkward weight. Being able to carry something in a backpack form should help a bit, um, dispersing the weight on my back. And it's got all sorts of pockets. I've been interested in these backpacks for quite a while now, but all the ones I found online were way out of my price range, ranging anywhere from $90 to a couple hundred dollars, even more. And this one started to catch my eye every time I was in at Harbor Freight, and it came in at like right at 70 bucks. And it's got all sorts of pockets. It feels really stout. And I think it's just gonna be a better layout for my tools. I also have been carrying all my recovery gear in this chair bag and I really don't like that. So I'm gonna move all that gear into this bag when it's free. This used to not be a problem because I had a lot of storage in my Jeep or you know I could move it to my pickup and I could leave it in there. But now that we live in an apartment, I don't feel safe having my tools outside in the vehicle. So I needed something that was a little more easy to transport back and forth from rig to rig and inside. So I'm eager to test this out. Let's do a quick uh, overview of it. it. Says the heavy duty job site backpack with 23 pockets. It's a one or 1680D tear resistant fabric. And then it's got this nice waterproof plastic on the bottom. I like that it has so many pockets. I think I'll keep uh, my electrical stuff up here in the front. And I have some room for, you know, some small stuff. And then here's one of the main pouches. You zip it and it comes way out. So you can get all your stuff easy. There's just lots of options for storing stuff. Probably way more pockets than I need, but like these pouches right here will be nice for things like my uh, wrenches and stuff that I usually keep on the outside of this bag. And you know, this is from Harbor Freight too. And a lot of my recovery gear is from Harbor Freight. And this is from Harbor Freight. My winch is from Harbor Freight. I think I need a sponsor, right? So you got bags on the outside or pockets on the outside. That could be for like a, you know, tape measure or something. And this side has a, it's like bigger pouch on the bottom, but the opening's smaller and has an elastic band. And then here's the other main pocket. It doesn't open as, it's not a wide mouth pocket like this front one, but that's gonna be nice. Moving over to this bag, you can see I got some tears going on from some of my longer items that I put in there. So this is everything that I have in here. everything out of the front so I got some adjustable wrenches some pliers some vice grips I carry a lot more uh, sharpie I carry a lot more stuff in here than I actually need but since I don't have a garage easily accessible to me anymore it's nice to be able to have some tools at home and uh, not have to run up to my brother's house to grab tools out of my drawer if we're gonna take the Jeep out for the day or the pickup out for the day. Fuses, Allen's and Torx bits. Probably more in these front pockets stuck down in there. Nice hammer. This has been just a, a bag of miscellaneous stuff. I didn't really have a place for that's just been floating around like you know a small hacksaw wire brush a pick i actually use this all the time you know i think that's from harbor freight too <laughs> got a file in there a clamp and then some uh, allen wrenches that are specific the sizes uh got this one labeled 
Oh, this is for the transfer case drain plugs. The other one I think is for my the oil filter neck. And I got a box of Tekton tools in here. This is a unneeded little box of tools, but it's just some small sockets, small ratchet, and a screwdriver set. And it's actually, I use that probably most out of everything in this bag. It's nice to be able to just grab it and walk out to whatever, whatever I'm doing. I say, do not open this side, stupid. So many times I've opened that side and dumped all of the tools everywhere. This is just a little husky pouch. I got my open ends in there. This one I have some uh, zip ties and um, things like brake grease and water weld. I usually have some RTV in there and some rubber gloves. And then I have my 12 volt stuff over here, some extra wire, some tape, test light. Flashlight. Roll of duct tape. Another screwdriver that is in the wrong place. I carry this magnetic tray which I probably don't need to but it is nice if you've ever worked on something like you know in the snow um, or mud or anything and you are you know in a less than ideal place it's nice to be able to put your nuts and bolts and stuff that you're taking off in a magnetic tray so you don't have to worry about them falling into the snow or something like that uh, this bag just has a bunch of random bolts and some lug nuts and some wheel studs and some other just random stuff like that. I go through and use bolts and stuff out of there all the time. Magnet. Safety glasses, of course. It really is a lot of stuff. This is my GoPro box that I repurpose to hold all my spare um, sockets. And this is for the axle nut on my Jeep. That's for something on my Jeep. And I just got some random sizes and extras in there. And some of these adapters. And that's another thing that I picked up at Harbor Freight today. I broke one then the other day. Oh, which I just realized it's uh, the one I broke had been a Pittsburgh. I could have went in and got a free one. And then here's all my longer stuff. But kind of like when I need to grab one of these, it's a real pain because it's in the bottom of the bag and I have to take out most of the stuff to get to it. So I got a pry bar. Um pipe wrench. I was using this for the lock nuts, the jam nuts on my long arms and it works really well. It's uh, hard to find something that's the right size. Recently I went through and packed them all in place. Like even this adjustable wrench isn't big enough. I don't know why I have that one in there. Don't really need it for anything. Then I got breaker bar. Cheater bar the handle to my bottle jack, another Pittsburgh tool, it's extendable, that's nice, and then some extensions in here, uh, so yeah, those are all the tools I typically carry, now I'm going to shove them in this bag, and we'll show you what it looks like, you should have seen what it looks like in that one, and we'll see how much extra room we have.
all right there it is full of everything out of that bag i even was able to get rid of using these other bags because everything fits in there so nice it's still heavy um, the flashlight didn't really have a great place and neither did the duct tape and i'd say i have this thing plumb full but here's my 12 volt stuff even have a little extra room in there my fuses went in there it's able to keep uh some of my little spare parts a knife and the sharpie in there the main pocket i got my spare nuts and bolts i got my sockets allen's in there i uh, noticed when i was putting this in that uh, i just put my zip ties and fluids and stuff in there or greases and stuff in there and this top piece actually has room inside of it so i think the zip ties can come in nicely got all my picks and um, tie wire my brush in there pliers adjustables ratchets my saw my magnet and then in the very back got all the long stuff so I got my uh, socket set down there. Might be a little bit of a squeeze to get it out. That's okay. Uh, you know what? If I turn it up on the end, it should work better. And it did. If I turn it up on the end, then it comes in and out easily and frees up some space back there. So I got all my open ends. I moved them to these rings. I got my cheer bar and my jack bar. So that clamp down there. The only thing I didn't put in there was this magnet tray. And the reason is I'm going to get one of the small circular ones. I don't need that big, you know, 11 inch one. Zippers seem to work just fine. That wide mouth in the front is absolutely necessary the zipper maybe doesn't like being the bag being so full cool time to change the oil on the old 6.0 so thought this would be a good opportunity to show using the bag. So another thing I really like about it is it fits so much nicer back here in the back seat of my pickup than this bag did. I got all my recovery gear in here now. So that's nice. Got a recovery bag. And then this slides down in between the seats because it's you know narrower from this side to that side than this bag is as you can see when it was all full of tools sliding it down in there was terrible the only downside is i got i carry a lot of stuff so it's kind of heavy but let's yard it out of there so i got it thrown over my shoulders just like i'm heading to school and it's nice like you know sometimes even just working here at my dad's shop you know i pulled the part off the parts bugger over there for this one a little bit ago all i needed was an adjustable wrench i just took a wrench over there but if i would needed more tools i could have thrown this bag on i'm not going to want to walk far because it's definitely heavy but i know for this job i'm going to need an adjustable wrench, crescent wrench. I think this one does the trick. And I'm also gonna need my socket set. Slide that out of there. And now I can get back to work. And then when I'm done, I'll just, uh, Slide my tools back in, like that, and put my wrench back in. 
and then zip it up. And then I can heave it up on my shoulders again and put it back in the truck. So A plus for this bag. So far, I'm loving it. I've used it a couple times to, uh, you know, do random things and getting into it is really easy. The tools are way more accessible than they were in that uh, other style of bag. That's it. Super excited to be using this bag. And if you want updates, then follow my Instagram at the cheap Hawk, and I will do failure updates on that if it fails or rave about it if it's good. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.